Hello everyone, John Waffle H2P here. And guys, I'm just gonna make this blunt and sweet. I don't feel like making these videos. Honestly, I'm not having a good time making videos this year for obvious fucking reasons. And I'm tired of all the excuses from Narduzzi. And a lot of people now are on the side that I really believe in. Narduzzi is a fraud and he has been exposed the last couple of years. And that press conference, I think, really cemented it. There is no excuse. And I don't give a crap about the rankings with Notre Dame or anything that we play a game like we saw on Saturday. That is one of the most, that was one of the most embarrassing events I've ever seen. There was no motivation at all. These kids don't have pride. And I had a, I had the, I had a brawl with one of these losers parents on Twitter or X, if you want to call it. I don't give a crap. They are failures and they are playing like it. I said it and I don't want to hear any bullshit. Oh, it's the kids. No, they are grown adults that are getting paid and they are playing like shit. And the coaches don't seem to give a shit. The fact that Narduzzi went and complimented his terrible offensive coordinator after the freaking game. I mean, come on. And then we had this cringeworthy moment with, the, with Narduzzi, him hugging his, one of his players. And I don't know which one it was. I think it was the one that was at Notre Dame. One of the transfers from Notre Dame. He has the fucking nerve to do that after we, he gets his ass destroyed? Is that what we're known for? Are you serious? I mean, are you freaking serious, people? That, that should be an automatic fire. And I don't, I don't really want to hear all the crap that we can't afford to fire him. We have to find a way. That's what lawyers are for. The law talks. Hire some and get his ass out of Pittsburgh. I mean, I mean, you idiots. And this is a this is an L for Heather like. I mean, obviously, she probably we probably it was a good idea in 2022. He is being paid a national championship tier salary. That's what he's getting paid. That that's just insane. And he's done nothing. He won the ACC once. He got to the cold stool twice. The first time was luck, by the way. Let's be honest. We didn't deserve to be there. We couldn't do it in 2016 when we probably had a shot to win the ACC. We couldn't do it uh, in the, the following year after we got to the ACC in 2019. 2020, a busted year. Where I'll, I'll say that was because of COVID. But at least we were winning games. I mean, th this is a complete disaster. I've never seen a team want to lose. I never. And yes, I, I'm going to say it now. The defense, I mean, they tried. I, I mean, as much as they could. I know they're not good. But, I mean, they're the, they're the only ones that even tried to play last Saturday. And yes, they weren't playing good. But, I mean, at least they made some interceptions. Our quarterback couldn't make any, could do crap. And, and people are still on here. You still have these idiot fans that I, and some of these people actually are on my side now, but you have these idiots that are saying, oh, we can't do this. We can't do that. We get to, it's the contract. We can't get out of that. A billion dollar school can't get out of a $40 million contract. Because, because of blah, 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 because of that, we need to go wait for the bullshit businessman who goes pay, who pays to the Jeb Bush Foundation out of all things to, because he, he, he to come and kiss, kiss her ass. I mean, like, that's, that's, that's just insane. I mean, we need to get the heck out of this thing. I mean, it's a disaster. Who the hell are we going to get? I don't know. I don't effing know. I really don't. I mean, I know that there's a complete arrogance in these older fans. They are so nostalgic for the uh, Dan Marino, Tony Dorsett era. I mean, that era is over. You gotta, you gotta get in the new world with the NIL. You gotta get in the new world with a tip-top coach. You need a, a young coach, not from Pittsburgh, not from anywhere, unless he's completely elite, to come in here and run this program. 
Yes, we need a Deion Sanders. I'm not saying we're, we're not definitely not going to get him. That will be a major protest. But, I mean, we need someone in that caliber to come and clean this mess up. I don't know who. I don't freaking know who. But we need to get out of this mess. And, and it's a disaster. It's a complete disaster. Um, and people are still siding with this. Like Pan uh, Panther Lair, um, complete fool out there drinking all freaking night on the live stream makes us all look like idiots. I mean, might as well just gulp the night away. I mean, it, it, with his, makes us all look like fools. But I mean, I, I regress. To, uh, I'm polling, I'm gonna, I don't know. Uh, it's Florida State week. Tomorrow, I'm going to release the Florida State video. I don't know what to say. I don't even want to release it. I don't really want to say anything. I know what's going to happen. And I don't give a shit if we upset them. I really don't. People are going to storm the field. Are you serious? I mean, like, that's what I've been seeing. Like, come on, people. We should have beat Notre Dame. We got our ass kicked by Notre Dame twice in a row. And people are going to, you're going to have the people say, well, we can't, we should not schedule Notre Dame anymore. Then why can't, that, that's complete bullshit. So you're saying we can't compete? You, you guys are just throwing the wrench in the thing. I mean, that's just insane. I mean, you guys are complete losers who are just Big 12 homers. That's who the fuck you guys are. You guys are going to surrender to the Big 12 and, and enjoy it. That's who the fuck these people are who are on there saying that we can't join a good conference. I'm going to rant the night away. I don't give a shit if anyone's, is any, if anyone's mad about me swearing. This is my channel. I can do what the hell I want to. So if you're, if you don't, if you're going to be PC and all, just unsubscribe, do whatever, go, go watch the uh, liberal, whatever you want to, uh, media like Panther Lair, who, who is lying up a storm all the time. I mean, I mean, this is absolutely atrocious. I, I just, I mean, terrible fucking year, terrible year. In general, I, I mean, I don't know what, what's going to happen. I, unfortunately, Narduzzi is probably going to keep his fucking job because because the athletic director uh, or mainly Joan, I don't know. We can't get our shit together and not have nice things. But but we could. Uh, it's funny because we could have we got rid of the guy in the 80s who, who was actually winning us games, but I guess there was some bullshit that had nothing to do with anything going on. And so they canned him and hired a garbage coach. Godfrey, that's who. But yeah, they, they fired him right away. They fired Walt Harris after he got us to a BCS Bowl. And all you guys were complaining then. But it's okay to go two and six or two and 10 every year, and because you, you're in a little bind, we have to deal with it. You guys are pathetic, fucking pathetic. And, I'm t and when I'm saying that, I'm talking to the administration. I mean, I'm, uh, I mean, this is just sad, complete sad, and that's all I have to say. So that being said, guys, I'm, I'm not gonna rant anymore. Happy Halloween, I guess, it's almost over. Maybe they heard my ranting, who cares? But this is, I'm, I'm just pissed off. I'm pissed off at this performance. These kids suck in life. They fucking do. I'm not going to say it. I'm I'm extremely fucking pissed right now. I'm not even going to say the, there's nothing really to say. Subscribe, like, share this video. I'm out.